the topic of contradictions um, sometimes as you become teachers you uh, make certain pronouncements but you have to watch the level of who you are speaking to now there may be something you will tell somebody but somebody else you tell something almost opposite so if somebody is an observer listening when you spoke here and you went here and spoke this you say ah he contradicts himself <laughs> but it's not contradiction because you are addressing different levels categories so when you happen to meet a crowd that you are preaching uh, or teaching then you need to understand that uh, if you want all of them to benefit there will be things you will say for certain levels in the crowd and along even the same sermon you may make a pronouncement which is almost opposite to what you just said but it's meant for another class within the crowd are you with me yes so these things we must always watch out it is there um, those of you acquainted with the scriptures you can see some of these contradictions but they are not for example somewhere in the uh, Bible it says uh, we've given you all the knowledge that needs to be given all that you need to hear everything is here for you yeah pastor is it there is it in the Bible yes somewhere in the Bible maybe you, you have the quotation for it <laughs> yes it is there that uh, in the New Testament somewhere it tells you everything you need to know is here giving you then he goes on meets his disciples and says hey there are more things I have to tell you but you are not ready for them <laughs> see then he says don't cast your pearls among the swine the high things don't tell the so what it means is that for the syllables of the class one I have given everything you see that statement is for the class everyone uh, sleeping souls this is enough for you but awakening souls have more things for you. I hope you understand. So it appears to be contradictory, but it's not. And the same thing you will confront. That is why I'm telling you sometimes it will be necessary to be seemingly contradictory a parent uh, the parents are going to work and they have their children in the house but the children are of different age groups then they sit down the little one and say today make sure you don't step outside the gate you stay inside throughout and uh, then they go to the next one yes you two you are not going out but you take care of the little one that is your instruction then the grown-up one say yes today you go out with your elder sister or brother you buy something around the corner there and give to you to bring to the children then it goes to the elder sister when you do that assignment for that one go ahead to the main market for the evening's meal preparation 
go get all the things. So don't go out and go out. Opposite. Opposite instructions. But there is no contradiction. Please, you understand? Yes. Yes. There's no contradiction. Especially when we're giving knowledge to social media and other places. You remember sometime I was telling you, I was uh, giving a lesson on the fact that uh, the true church is not a room, it's not a building. This house, what is going on inside it? If it is orderly, you are in the church, peaceful. But then, in another lesson, then I say, if you are attending church, no problem. <laughs> you, you understand? Is it contradiction? No. 